Alright, so today I'm going to be teaching y'all how to make a video edit like me. And so first what you want to do is get your audio. I already got mine from BZMCU on TikTok. And I got my clip just like this. Nothing changed. I didn't slow down or anything. Just this clip. First what I'm going to do is click the position. And about every couple frames you just want to make sure it's in the center. You can see it kind of going that way. Just do the same thing everywhere else. Then it goes kind of far away. Put it back. Just make sure. Alright. <laughs> Actually, I'm gonna move it so it's like there, right here. Alright, now I'm just gonna add frame blending to this so it makes it a lot smoother with the remap. I'm gonna pre comp this, like just like that. Then I'm gonna right click on this clip, go to time, then click on enable time remapping. Sometimes this happens for me, so then I just go to the end of the clip, uh, click at the end of it, delete half of it, and delete that part. And I mark my beats out on this, so it's just a little easier to do. And then I'll just click on this, so every time there's a beat, the time remap changes. So just do that. Yeah, just like that and then I use flow so what I'm gonna do is highlight all of these and click apply if you don't have flow just copy this graph and your graphs like this So you can see it's kind of coming together now. Now uh, it's kind of it's kind of choppy, so I'm gonna add a Twix. So I'm gonna add Twixster Pro, just like this, just Twix, not the Pro. I meant. Then I'm gonna add this, make this 20 pre 23.976. Uh, image trap contract edge enhance. Yep, blend. That should be good and. Just play it through. You can see it's like much more smooth. So once I go to this, yeah, it's obviously gonna take a lot longer to load, but it's definitely worth that. Then you can see it's just way smoother. Much better how it looks, and now you're just gonna pre comp this, uh, duplicate the layer so you could co copy and paste it. And now I'm gonna do this uh, go on this first one all the way to the first beat, delete the rest of the clip, and you're gonna, we're gonna make a ghost now. So, what I like to do for it is go to the scale part of it, go to the very end of it clip put it to around like 175 then the opacity make it from 100 all the way down to 0 at the end yeah it should be good and so it looks not very good because you gotta add the graph so I'm gonna go to the scale add a graph like that
Mike and Ted looks really good just from that. I don't like to add any um, graphs to the opacity. It's more like choppy. So now I'm gonna pre comp these together. Now I'm gonna add my sky velo or er, velo X shake. Yep, this one. If you want it, you can go buy it my Patreon. Just seven bucks. Pretty cheap. You can already tell. But I like to pre comp this. And now what I'm gonna do is add zooms. This is the part that mainly makes your edits better than others, so I'm just giving you a full tutorial for this part. Blur, no curves. You need a sapphire plugin for this actually. So I like to put Z distance from one on the first one to 0 0.9. And then put the next one to one. Put the next one to 0.9 next one to one you can kind of see what's zoom in and out and one all right so I've added all those I'm at this graph right here so basically it would be this is how you do it if you didn't have um, flow. Easy ease these. You want to make it like. Well. You know, I'm just not even going to try that. I have not done those type of graphs in forever. So that's what you want to do if you don't have a flow or even if you do have flow. Just like that. Just like that. Yeah, this, this video is so good, bro. Look odd. So nice. And now what I like to do is go to the adjustment layers. I'm gonna make it about this long. Brightness and contrast. Uh, yeah, this one. Go to the brightness, make it about 65. Go to the end of this, set it to oops, zero. Alright. And now I'm just copying and pasting this on every single beat job. Kind of just complements the zoom ins and zoom outs. Makes it a little bit more less plain. Next what I'm going to do is pre-comp all of this together. Then I'm going to add uh, two shakes now at the end just for it to go with the audio. Make it look much better. Put, the, put my X shake. Sky X. Uh. Uh. Short. I'm gonna put the Y first. Actually, no. I'll put the X shake first. You can also get these in my Patreon. I copy and paste this over here. But this time I delete the effects and then put the Y shake. I'll put some text, put it 
under this. Cut it out. Just like that. And we're going to make it say sky VFX. See what that looks like. Yeah, that looks good. And just put, instead of aerial bullet, I'm going to put aerial regular. Uh, deep well. Never mind. Wait, actually, I forgot I can fix this. Blending mode, so you know, put a screen. If you don't have deep glow, you can just put normal glow. Honestly, I just randomize the effects to when it's pretty like glowy. Looks nice. And I'm also in quarter quality, so it's gonna look different. Put that in full and scale it up a little bit. Uh, align it to the middle. Then add drop shadow. Put it to a hundred. Thought to do that. I was just testing something. And make the and copy me if you want. Oh wait, I'm a silly goose, bro. That's why it wasn't showing up. The blending mode makes sure you have it on normal. That's why it wasn't. Yeah, that looks that looks pretty good. And then I'm gonna just pre comp all of this together. And then I'm going to add an X shake out. So it should be sky X. Uh, oh yeah. So what I'm going to do is just put my normal shake. And s put it, align it up. And then I'm going to put time reverse keyframes. Just shorten this up a little bit like that. 